Hi, my name is Chris McCulley. Welcome to Lambda College. The lab you're going to be doing today is lab number five, Rosemount Smart Transmitter. Normally we would have a student here doing this, but you're not here, so I'm going to help walk you through it. The transmitter we're going to use is a Rosemount 3051 differential pressure transmitter. It's been calibrated at the factory to zero to 150 inches of water and has an output of four to 20 milliamps. We're going to use the heart communicator to rearrange within this 100, 0 to 150 inches of water for our needs. Now that we've identified the transmitter we're going to be using, we're going to step through the setup. First of all, we're going to connect a piece of poly tube so we can hook up the air signal into the transmitter. We're going to go into the high side of the transmitter. A differential pressure transmitter always has a high side and a low side, hence the term differential. We need to hook it up to the high side, which is denoted by the H you see here, low side over here. Once that's connected, we can plug that into a regulated air source. We're going to be controlling the amount of air into the transmitter, the pressure into the transmitter, with a high precision regulator. Next, we want to wire up the electronics. So we're going to take the red lead out of the transmitter and plug it into the positive side of the 24 volt supply. Next, we'll come out of the transmitter on the common lead. and plug it into the positive side of the multimeter. Following that, we'll come out of the negative side of the multimeter. And normally, we'd go back into the negative side of the 24 volt supply. Because this is a heart device, we need a 250 ohm resistor in line to allow the heart communications. So all we need to do is break open the circuit, the series circuit, anywhere, attach a couple alligator clips, and install the 250 ohm resistor. Next, we want to make sure that our heart communicator is connected anywhere in the series loop in parallel. The easiest way to do that is just to go directly across the resistor. Now that we're sure everything's connected properly, we can power it up. Okay. After powering up the loop, we want to make sure that it's working properly. So the good way to do that is to check and make sure that we have a milliamp signal. We're using a Fluke 744 documenting process calibrator. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure milliamps. As you can see, we're also going to be using this device to control the pressure that we're putting into the transmitter. So if I hit the measure source button, we go over to source and hit the pressure button, all of a sudden up comes the pressure. The range we're going to be using for this lab is going to be 0 to 100 inches of water. As you can see, we're in PSI right now, so you're going to want to change that. Hit the setup button. Next page, next page, pressure units, PSI. We're going to come down and use inches of water. If we hit measure source one more time, we can get a split screen and have all the information we need.